Hello friends, this is Growl, and welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 56, where we open our vaults, talk about this week's affixes, and so on and so forth. This is the first vault video of Season 2 Dragonflight. Unfortunately, I missed the last one. I had some family in town and stuff was going on, and before I knew it, it was 8 o'clock, and I just opened my, my vault, and it wasn't even that interesting anyway, and I had to raid, so sorry about that one. However, this one we have... An interesting vault that we don't normally have. We've actually cleared some amount of the raid on four different characters. So we have some raid vaults. Which I would value a little higher than M plus vaults early on. We're mainly looking for tier, also for good trinkets. I'm going to be opening on holy uh, or healer spec on almost all my guys. Mainly because there's a few very good trinkets from the raid that I'm looking for. Um, let's see. First one is going to be from this boss. This is a uh, healer or DPS spec. Um, Rashok has this trinket, also another very good healer trinket, and then finally, uh, Faceless Ire from Neltharion, also, well, this is a healer or tank trinket, I guess, but, uh, either way, we're looking for good trinkets, we're looking for tier, this is our smallest vault, this is our paladin, we only have a one boxer, so, let's see what we got, we did manage to get one singular piece of tier from the, our raid clear, and oh no is this the same item that we have oh no okay great so this is our chest not the greatest stats we don't really like mastery heavy for m plus but uh we'll take what we can get for now just trying to build our tier together and raise our item level can't complain about this when we only have one slot so we actually can get our t we can get our two piece and have two piece two piece if we really wanted to uh we'll figure that out a lot of people ask me about when to break their tier set. Personally, I just wait till you get your new four piece. Maybe you might be losing some very slight efficiency, but oh well. Just get used to playing with your bonuses anyway. Now on to our priest. I believe our priest has full cleared the raid. I also attempted to bring our priest to a weekly Brackenhide Hollow plus 20 which did not go very well. It was a weekly lever, so we did not finish that key. Item level's looking a little low. We do have a weapon, though, and we're... Hopefully, uh, we have our one tier piece, the uh, heroic token or whatever. So hopefully we'll be able to build out a tier set on this guy, too. Uh, I'm going to open as discipline. Bam. All right, let's see what we get. I think the word I think one of the healer trinkets could be very useful here. Okay, so we have a helm, a chest with no haste on it, or or no legs, legs with high mastery, or a chest with high crit. I think we go with the chest. It's 434. It's got speed on it. We go zoom. Uh, we're happy with this, I think. I think this is a great legs if I was planning on playing holy, um, especially in raid. Mastery can be juicer for holy, but... Alright, so now we have our two-piece on our priest and our two-piece on our paladin, which is super cool. Again, not a uh, super high item level, unfortunately, yet. Now onto our druid. Our druid, we did a viewer hug raid, and I think we full cleared the raid on my druid as well. And if you're watching this video right when it comes out, and you're like me and you have no life and you play World of Warcraft all day, we will probably be doing another viewer raid Tuesday afternoon. Uh, if you are on the NA servers and you want to sneak in, um, I don't know if we'll be doing it on my Druid. My inventory is a mess. Oh no, my inventory is a mess. Uh, let's switch to healer spec on this guy. And let's just open. Let's not worry about cleaning our inventory. That's not the purpose of these videos. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so we have a really nice crit haste ring. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can really use statted rings as healers much. This is a one-handed dagger, which I can just craft a good weapon. And then this trinket, Beacon to the Beyond. I'm pretty sure this is a juicer trinket that does tons of damage. I'm not super thrilled that it's mastery, but I'm pretty sure having this trinket at 441 will be pretty nice. So I think we're going to take this. 
This might be a little bit of a monkey decision. If you are progressing through the raid and you're looking for raid HPS, this may not be the best choice, but I'll happily grab this for M+. You can see I also have my singular tier token here. Um, do we have any... I don't think our druid got any tear drops though, unfortunately. So, yeah. Stuck there. Okay, so that's that. Now on to our quote-unquote main, uh, our shaman that we've been playing. In an unfortunate series of events, it looks like shaman is not particularly strong this tier compared to druid or holy priest. So, our shaman has ceased progression in the mythic raid. However, we are still on for a couple mythic bosses and we have some unlocks. Hopefully we can get some really nice trinkets. Uh, again, we have, I believe, three Mythic Plus slots at plus 20, one Mythic Raid slot, and two Heroic Raid slots. Um, again, we're looking for those powerful trinkets. Two of the three we can get on Mythic. Uh, we're, we have cleared all the way to Razshock on Mythic. That's about where, <laughs> where we'll stay. Uh, we actually already have four piece on this guy. We have a couple of nice DPS trinkets, so I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just open the vault. Let's go on Resto Spec. Open the vault, follow our heart, and see where it leads us. Okay, I don't see any raid trinkets. Let's just go down the list. A Verse Mastery Belt. Not particularly interesting. I also believe I'm going to craft a uh, well-fed belt like I did last season. Cape, 428. And a chest. Yeah, really junky raid drops. Very unfortunate there. Um, okay, so now we have a 447 cape. I think I'm going to be using this undulating spore cloak. A lot of people have been asking me about embellishments for M+. I wasn't so sure about this until I started doing some keys with it. This Undulating Spore Cloak is very, very, very strong, and it saves your life a lot. Okay, so here we have 447 Boots. Ooh. A 447 Crit Verse Avoidance Neck. I think we will be taking this. This is going to be really, really nice. It's got good stats on it. It's got Avoidance. We're going to be able to throw three sockets into this. I think this will be our item choice for today. Let me double check, make sure I'm not passing up anything stupid. Yeah, this is a very nice neck. All right, so we're happy about this. Obviously not as ideal as a uh, mythic tier piece or a um, mythic raid trinket, but pretty good. All right, we will yoink some uh, socket items. Oh, no. One gold one? Or you can just buy them from the auction house. Anyway, let's look at the affixes. The affixes are tyrannical, spiteful, and incorporeal. So incorporeal is actually a pretty interesting affix that people have been wondering about. Exactly how it works. They've changed it a couple times. It used to be very, very, very oppressive. Now it's much less so. So there's one that basically spawn. It's sort of like the new explosive. It spawns mobs and you have to deal with them or they blow up. They give you a huge debuff, if I remember, where you take like massively or you do massively reduced damage. Then you take a bunch of damage as well. So the way you deal with these is you CC them and you can CC them with any single target ability. So, for instance, Hex is something that I would highly recommend bringing this week as a shaman. It's a longer cast time, it's a 30 second recharge, but every 30 seconds you can take care of one of these guys, no problem. The reason that you need Hex is because AoE CCs do not work. So for example, a Capacitor Totem, a Lightning Strike, any of these, or Thundershock, any of these abilities that are uh, AoE CCs, you cannot just spam the CCs and get the incorporeal. You have to individually target them and CC them. And then you're going to ask, well, Growl, which, which CCs work? From my testing, essentially every single CC that if you click on it and then press the button, it works. Whether it's Hex, whether it's Repentance from Paladin, uh, Shackle Undead from Priest. If you have a CC on your tree, anywhere that works on anything, you should probably bring it. 
Um, you can actually take reduced cooldown on Hex by 15 seconds. Maybe I'll even consider this. So either way, uh, I would highly recommend talenting into a single target CC. I'm not going to go into full depth on explaining it. Uh, if you want to, I'm sure there are Wowhead articles and stuff there. But the TLDR this week is the talent change you want to make is you want to look for a single target CC. And don't rely on these AoE, you know, Capacitor Totem or Psychic Scream to deal with these mobs. Uh, that's what I would recommend. And, um, you know, I talk about previously how easy or hard the weeks are. I think we just got to wait and see. Um... We just got to wait and see how some of these affixes play out. I just don't know. But for the most part, most of the weeks feel very, very similar to each other. The affixes are much, much less intrusive. And you sort of are playing the dungeons much more so than playing the affixes. So I would worry less about what week it is. If you got time to game and you want to do some keys, I feel like almost any week is good for some gaming. And uh, yeah, that is that. I will wrap that up. Like I said... If you're watching this today, I will probably be streaming either Viewer Raid or our Guilds Raid or GeoGuessr or something. So be sure to stop in. Thanks for watching, friends. I wish you guys good luck in your vaults as well. And happy keying.